Dental work dates back to ancient Egypt when people used animal teeth and pieces of bone to replace their own teeth. It couldn't have been pretty. But today, high-tech dental crowns can transform damaged teeth into pearly whites that look just like all the rest. A dental crown starts with a plaster impression of the mouth. It goes to a laboratory where they cut it into segments to isolate the tooth in need of restoration. They scan it into a computer and send the dimensions electronically to the factory. There, machinery pumps liquid plaster into molds to create cylinders called blanks. The plaster blanks take about 10 minutes to harden, then move on to cure for an additional 12 hours. At the next station, a robot installs a blank in a milling machine. A computerized cutting tool sculpts the blank, guided by the scanned data of the plaster replica. It makes a duplicate that's 20 to 30 percent larger to allow for material shrinkage later in production. Next, a device dips the plaster tooth in liquid ceramic, which hardens into a non-stick glaze. The next robot orients the tooth, along with several others, in a circular holder ready for the next phase of production. Nozzles funnel ceramic powder into molds arranged in a matching circular configuration. A robot then inserts the tooth replicas in the corresponding molds. A worker stacks several of the mold platters and threads them together with a metal rod. He transfers the rack of mold platters to the next worker, who plunges it into a water-filled chamber. He closes the lid and activates a pressurizing system. As the liquid pressurizes, it compresses the ceramic powder, solidifying it. This process takes just 10 minutes. Another automated tool now chisels away the excess ceramic, following the profile of the plaster tooth replica that's still inside. This creates the ceramic shell of the dental crown, called the coping. It's removed from the plaster replica thanks to the non-stick glaze. Baking the coping at a very high temperature toughens the ceramic. It also shrinks the crown shell to the final size. They carve a plastic copy of the tooth using the same data scanned into the computer earlier. They use this plastic replica to test the fit of the ceramic one. A technician inspects the ceramic for chips or cracks then packages it for shipping. This tooth-like shell is now on its way to the laboratory where it will get the finishing touches that will transform it into a crown. When it arrives at the lab, a technician paints several layers of porcelain onto it. The color will change to a more realistic hue once they fire it in a special furnace. The furnace pumps out air or other gases that would hinder the transfer of heat as it bakes the porcelain to a very dense consistency. After all the layers have been applied, a technician textures the surface with a sharp tool. Then she sculpts it to give it tooth-like contours. Finally, she brushes on a clear ceramic glaze which mimics the look of tooth enamel. Ceramic crowns like these take about five days to make. They'll look and function just like any other tooth. And no one need ever know the secret behind that beautiful smile.